Some of you may die. That is a sacrifice that uh, I'm, willing I'm willing to make. To make. <laughs> mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Hello there, I'm Carlos and this is Kingdoms, where all your nerdy dreams come true. In today's episode of Commander, we are playing some of our new friends that we made at the Magic Con this year, the Grim Tutors. As we come to the end of the year though, make sure to do us a favor and smash the like button and subscribe to our channel. It really does make a difference. Also, remember to use our sponsor Card Conduit when you're trading in your cards online. They give you the best experience and price for your cards, so check them out at cardconduit.com slash kingdoms tv for 10% off. All right, let's play some magic. Yeah, let's just roll to see who goes first. First, this is a whopping, a whopping tenner. Got a seven. I got a whopping four. I'm at a four or two. So last place, no. Hey everybody, Carlos here, and I am playing my one of my favorite decks, Neheb the Eternal. This is the Dragon's Approach deck, and I finally got. I feel like almost all of the red wheel effects in here really to push the envelope on making sure i have enough fuel to pump out enough dragons approaches and dragons to uh to take the game but uh and and i did find out there is a um a combo in the deck with aggravated assault so um that is a, a backup win condition if uh the dragons don't take it home um i'm not excited to get mauled to death by dragons but also excited to get mauled to death by dragons yeah. Um, my name's Oblivion. I'm one half of the Grim Tutors, and we make educational Magic the Gathering content on YouTube. Um, it's aimed at new and returning players, but we'd like to think that we are handsome and funny enough for you to want to come and hang out with us just because it's a good time. So um, you can check us out at Grim Tutors MTG anywhere content is sold. I'm playing Ayara, first of Lothwain. Uh, mm. This is all hot goth girls have a mono nice. black deck. It's, if it's not Ayara, it's Shieldred usually. So got a couple of infinites in here. I can either Exquisite Blood, Sanguine Bond. I also have Bolus of Citadel, Divining Top, and Aetherflux Reservoir, and just general mono black bloodsucker type beat. Mm. Amazing. Yay! <laughs> yeah. uh, my name's Pez. I'm the other half of the Grim Tutors. I would like to say that we are going to be at MagicCon Chicago coming in February, and we'd love to see you there. And today I'm playing my pet deck, which is Lord Windgrace. He's the goodest boy, the yeah. goodest cat. Uh, it has a couple different ways it can win. Either make a lot of mana and torments a hellfire, or my personal favorite is I make like eight copies of Valica the Molten Pinnacle, and I just start playing lands, and everyone kind of explodes. So how do, you, how do you do that? So I have uh, Vesuva, I have Thespian Stage, and I have the new it's Rebuild the City. It's a six mana sorcery that makes three copies of one of your lands. Oh, dang. Okay. <laughs> All right. Not looking forward to that, but looking forward to that, as Oblivion said. Hi there, I'm Jeff. I'm playing U3 Fortune's Flame. Um, this deck is all about flipping coins, so I want to flip as many coins as possible. And in that theme as well, I want to win as many flips as possible to get some great value out of it. U3 is a great way for me to do that, to draw conditional cards. It does this potentially hurt me, but we have a few ways around that, hopefully. Um, overall, it's just to get U3 out quickly, start drawing cards, and then generating value from there to kind of take over the board. That's right. Uh, untap, upkeep, draw. Uh, I will play a swamp. I will pass my turn. I will untap, keep, and draw a magic card. I think I will start us off with a tapped Dakmore Salvage, and I'll pass the turn. I will draw for turn, play a Mountain, play a Jeweled Lotus, Whoa. track the Jeweled Lotus for three blue, tap the Mountain, and have my commander out. From there, I will say it is your go, Carlos. Uh, draw for turn. We're going to Urza Saga, tap it for a Soul Ring, and pass the turn. I'm gonna untap, upkeep, and draw. 
to regret every choice that has ever led me to this moment. Wow. And I will play another swamp. I think I will pass the turn from there. Um, I will untap upkeep and draw a magic card. Just play this tapped overgrown tomb and pass my turn. I will untap, draw, play a buried rune for turn, tap that, play a stool ring, tap that, and play a crux thumb. I love games. this card! <laughs> We're going to go to attacks. I'm going to attack Oblivion with you three, but we will set five first, so let's do five-ish flips first, and I say ish because I've got my thumb. Odds is odds is winning. Is that a four? That's a four, yeah, so it's odds? my third. I'm on state yeah, don't roll it to that side. Yeah. Try not to. There we go. Five. Alright, you gotta win. Two win. One win. Okay. Three more. Four's one a win. More. Oh. Okay. Oh, you got one. Uh, there we roll that one, and it's a loss. Wow. So... I know. Two, I, fa- two wins, three fails. Yeah, this is normal for me. I'll attack, finish attacks then. Two in the air. I, I would like to respond. I will tap two, and I will cast an Infernal Grasp. Well, you probably want to do that before the draws. Well, he had already gone through uh, the whole process but, of but flipping, I, so... Okay. I, I hate what Carl's just saying, because I could potentially draw into response... Yeah, oh, he, yeah. He just has you're, a lot of counter spells. Right. So, yeah. Oh, yeah. But it's 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 not going to matter is what I'm going to say. Don't worry. Okay. <laughs> okay. The the no. triggers will go on the stack and then you can kill it before he flips in Got the future. It. So, that's okay. There goes my commander. It's bye-bye. But yeah. what a fun time we all had. Yeah. Oh, was, we'll have more of it. Don't worry. It'll, it'll happen again. That's all we need to see of you three. My turn? Yep, your turn. Okay, untap, upkeep after your draw step. Okay, so draw then it goes to two. Um, we'll play a mountain. I guess we'll just pass. That doesn't seem highly suspicious. Oh, it just means I'll probably make an artifact construct. Play a swamp. Uh, and then I'll go ahead and I'll tap three. And I will cast my commander. So whenever she or another black creature enters the battlefield under my control... Um, everyone will lose a life and I'll gain a life. So I will go back up to 39. That's all for me. I'll pass. I will untap up, keep, and draw a card. I'm going to play a Taiga for a turn. So now I'll play a Jeweled oh, Lotus. Oh, oh, oh. Crack Jeweled Lotus for three red. And now I'll tap Deckmore, Salvage, and Overgrown Tomb to cast Lord Wood Grace. And... I will plus Lord Wind Grace, discarding this mountain I'm to happy draw more cards. salvages in play at this point. Uh-huh. So then I will play this Mana Crypt. Uh, I will then tap three and play a Crucible of Worlds. And I'll pass my turn. Is this what people feel like? Like when they're getting ready to go and be like guillotined, you know, and they're like walking up the stairs and so. they see yeah. the big old thing in the basket where their head's going to go? Yeah. Reminds me of like a WWE kind of, and then like someone comes out and he's like, yeah, like the Undertaker. It's like, yeah, I was going to say Undertaker comes out. (laughs) He's just like really greased up on, like, he's all oily. Yep. Just shaved his body on the ropes. Yeah. Yeah. For land for turn, we'll play a fiery islet. I am probably just going to do this. I'm going to play a talisman of creativity there. I'll say pass, Carlos. I don't know where my dry erase marker is, though, but this is a construct. That's end of turn. I'll draw four on my turn. Um, this goes to three and then pops away. Would you like to float a mana or make a construct before oh, it does call. that? Oh, Yeah. Um, I will float a mana. I guess maybe a mana vault. Um, one colorless floating. Play a mountain. I'll first... Yeah, I'll six mana my mana pool. Uh, Arcane Signet. The remaining four and one. Or my commander. And then I'll send a 4 4 construct. I want to attack Lord Windgrace, but I also want 4 mana. We'll be a little bit of a team player for once and send it at uh, Windgrace while he's open. It'll go down to 3. Last nice turn. We untap, we upkeep, we draw. Uh, I'm going to play a land for turn. I'm going to tap 3 and I'm going to cast a Woe Strider. Um, so it will enter the battlefield <laughs> and everyone will lose a life and I'll gain a life because Woe Strider is black. And then he will enter the battlefield and I will make a goat. 
I'm gonna tap Ayara. No, I'm not, because the goat is white. I actually do have to make a goat. I think that that will unfortunately do it for me, and I'll pass. Untap, and my upkeep, I will roll for mana crypt damage. Uh, odds take damage. It is a four, so I will not take damage, and I'll draw for turn. I'm going to put Lord Windgrace to five, and I'm going to discard the Dryad Arbor to draw two cards. I'm going to tap five and attempt to cast an Hour of Promise. I think this time I'm going to get Urborg mm. and Cabal well. Coffers. I will play my Dryad Arbor from my graveyard. Pass the turn. Um, into your turn, I'll do this real quick. I'm going to sacrifice the Buried Ruin to return the Build Lotus to my hand. I will untap, draw. I will replay the Jewel Lotus. I will crack the Jewel Lotus for three blue. I will tap a mountain and the Talisman to replay my commander, U3. I don't have anything else right now, Carlos, so it's going to be your turn now. Untap, upkeep. Guess I'll pay. Untap the Mana Vaults. Draw for turn. All right, I'm going to play a Dragon's Approach. Uh, responses each of you take three a damage. I will then go to combat, and I'm going to swing both of these. I'm going to swing the my commander at you, Pez, the 4-6, with a flicked 3. If you block, you'll take 3, at least. If you don't block, you take 4. Um, and then there's a 4-4 four, four coming at you. I'll just not block. Okay. I'm not blocking you there, so 4. You each take 4. Second main phase, get 17 red mana. I will then attempt a um, aggravated assault. <laughs> it's a nifty little guy. I will tap Ayara and sacrifice my woe strata to draw a card. Okay. I'm helping. Uh, anything else? If not, I'll attempt to pay five and untap these two and get another combat after this phase with another main phase after that. Play a land for turn or room and I'll attempt a cavern horde dragon. This is Smaug. <laughs> Um, he costs a little bit less, actually, because you guys have some artifacts. Uh, where X is the greatest number of artifacts an opponent controls. Is that three? Yeah. Mm -hmm. It'll cost um, so, uh, six. Six. And that is everything before going to next combat. Anything before moving to next combat? No, he does have haste. Join in. I'd like to add sadness to the stack. Does sadness resolve? <laughs> I feel, like, I feel like Jeff might have something, so it's not... not we'll see. So, um, I lose the red. Yeah. Uh, I forgot about that. Actually, before I lose the red, I will draw a card and lose a life. We'll send a Heb at... Uh, I guess we'll just keep having a Heb and a Heb go at Pez, and then we'll have uh, Construct go at Jeff and the Dragon go at Oblivion. I certainly cannot block the... Is it six six dragon? Six six He's flying six. trample dragon. Yep. So I will go down uh, to thirty one. Oh, I actually I should do before I should do that differently. I should send. Yeah. Because I don't have any. You're not yeah. gonna make any treasure. I forgot for how it yeah. works. Yeah. I should send the dragon at Jeff. Even though you can block it, it's probably still worth it. Yeah. So I'll switch the two. So and Heb's still going at Pez, but then the four four is going at Oblivion, and the six six is going at Jeff. Uh, I'll block it with my sheep goat. Uh, I will take another four. Yeah, Carlos, this is over. I don't actually. I'm going through this with my might even more. This is over. Well, you, I mean, if you have like a bounce spell, if you can kill Neheb or the Heb or aggregate of assault in any way. No, I know. Well, I know, I know. And I like I'm trying to think about. The, I theoretically could kill Neheb, but the more I'm thinking about it, you don't need to be attacking with Neheb. Super unnecessary of you. You don't need to because you're going to get thirty plus mana every attack now. Sure. All right. Go. So. Like Neheb doesn't two. have to be in combat. Like the only thing I have that gets me closer though. And I'll oh no, I already sent Neheb like, though, so it's yeah, I know, I know. Yeah, yeah. The only thing I have is a braid though, so I can get three in those. The thing is, like maybe we could chain together some damage and get there. Gotcha. But I was like, you yeah. don't need to be attacking with Neheb's the thing, right? And they're the only flyer that I mean, my flyer can block the dragon for one turn, but you can easily just go back to combats again right after that though. Yeah. It's, yep. it's yeah. It is. It is a very quick lock, is what I will say with Neheb oh, and Aggravated as well. You guys okay for a second game? Yeah, it's fine yeah, with me. Yeah. It was faster uh, than I was expecting. Uh, untap, upkeep, draw. I'm going to play a swamp. I'm going to tap said swamp to cast a dark ritual. Ooh. 
And then I will use that to cast my commander. When she enters the battlefield, I will gain a life and everyone else will lose a life. And I will pass my turn. Draw for turn. I will play a Museju who endures and a Birds of Paradise. And I will pass my turn. I will whoop, draw. I'll play a Mystic Sanctuary tapped and pass my turn. Draw a card, play a mountain, and gamble for my second land. <laughs> I love one mana and two. Uh, or uh, red and two. Red and two. Tomb's already one mana. <laughs> Someone just call one out. Seven. Oh, dang. That's like the second worst one. Because <laughs> it's more mana? <laughs> well, it was what I was going to play next turn. Pass the turn after that. All right. I will untap, upkeep, and draw a card. I'm going to play a swamp and tap two to cast a. Bitter Blossom. Ooh. So at the beginning of my upkeep, I will lose a life and make a 1-1 one, one Black Fairy creature. But then with... gain a life? Yeah. yeah. Good. I'll move to combat and I will swing IR at you, Pez. I will take two. And I will pass you. All right. I will untap upkeep and draw. Play a mountain for turn. Tap three and play an Azusa Lost But Seeking. So I have two additional land drops this turn, and mm -hmm. my lands will be Strip Mine and Wasteland. Why are you the way that you are? And I'll pass. <laughs> in my mind, I'm just like, well, we know Carlos only has one other land in hand. Do it. Yeah. <laughs> I already got one under my belt. I'm okay. I will untap. I will draw. I will play a mountain. That's my turn. I will say, uh, it is your turn, Carlos. Tap draw. I think you got a, a basic and a non basic over there. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to play this mountain I just drew, not the other land for a while. Unfortunately, I discarded my arcane signet, so I will pass the turn. I will untap. Uh, on my upkeep, I will make a fairy and I will lose a life, but then the fairy is black, so it will enter and I will gain a life, so net nothing, but everyone will also lose a life. Yeah. So. It was a fairy. <laughs> Otherwise, it's just going to be this goat for right now. Goat. <laughs> it's going to be a goat. My little fairy Ugliest goat. Ugliest fairy ever. <laughs> Draw. Um, I'm going to play a swamp. Shocking, isn't it? I thought so. Not a shock land, so no. <laughs> I'm going to tap two, and I'm going to cast a Zulaport Cutthroat. Oh, my. Zulaport Cutthroat will enter the battlefield, yep. and I will gain a life. Everyone will lose a life. And then Same. whenever that creature or another creature I control dies, each opponent will lose a life and I will gain a life. And then I'm going to tap Ayara and sacrifice my fairy goat to draw a card. We we all life. Life. Yep. yep, and I will gain a life. And I will pass my turn. Uh, so I will untap a peep and draw a magic card. I'll tap my birds uh, paradise for black, tap my besageo for green, of course. And then I will tap three, and I'll play the Get Rock. Mm, had a feeling. 6-6 uh, six, six Death Touch at the beginning of your upkeep. Sacrifice the Get Rock monster unless you sacrifice land. I can play additional lands on each of my turns. Uh, whenever one or more land cards are put into a graveyard from anywhere, draw. And I will pass the turn. Alright. I will draw. I will play an island, and I will get my commander out there and you three, and that will be my turn. Draw for Go turn. Out. Well, we keep drawing lands, so it's not bad, actually. So let's uh, cast a dragon's approach. You each take three damage, mm -hmm. and I'll pass turn. I'm going to untap, upkeep, make my little fairy goat. Everyone will lose a life, and I will draw. I will play a swamp. All right, unfortunately, I'm going to have to do it this way. I'm going to tap two, and I'm going to cast Feed the Swarm, targeting Ooh. your Get Rug monster. Ooh. Root, but understandable. And then I'd lose five. Some of you may die. That is a sacrifice that uh, I'm, willing I'm willing to make. To make. <laughs> mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, I'm going to tap IR and sack my goat fairy. Everyone will lose a life and I will gain a life and I will draw a card. I think that will do it for me. I will pass. I will untap, upkeep, and draw a magic. Tap five, play Lord. You're feeling more intense now. They have the... The grown-up yeah, version feeling, out there, yeah. Feeling the uh, <laughs> more muscle cat these yeah. days. <laughs> time for business. There's, it's uh, business time? Business time. I don't know, yeah. 
plus Lord Wind Means Grace. Business. I'm going to discard this uh, Force of Vigor to draw a card. I will play a Bajuka Bog for a turn. And uh, uh, Bog. You should Bog me. Yeah. And uh, Lord Wind Grace will be at 7, and I will end my turn. All right. I will on top. I will draw. I will play an island for turn, and I'll tap the Mystic Sanctuary and a mountain for a tavern scoundrel. We'll go to combat. We'll go to attacks. I will use Usury to attack Lord Windgrace in the air. I When I do the attacks, though, I will choose five, and we will go five times here. Odds is a win, and each time I win a flip, I get two treasures, so... Odds, odds. One, yes. I don't know if you saw that. It was on table, but it's a six, so it's a loss. Oh, no rerolls. Loss. Win, loss, loss. 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 Ah. Win. No. I didn't even see that one. That's a win. Okay. So two wins. Who are you attacking? And Lord Windgrace. Ah. Yep. I know where the enemy is. <laughs> Second main, I will play in... Is it Signet? That will be my turn there. Untap. Draw. Unfortunately, time to play Nykthos. That's what I searched for, but I really just should have searched for, like, a Jewel Lotus or something to gamble. It seems like I'm re getting really far behind, but fortunately I can't play my commander still, so another Dragon's Approach. Free damage to everybody. And that's it. <laughs> I will untap, upkeep, make my little goat fairy. Everyone will lose a life, and I will net nothing. And I will draw a card... I will play a Swamp for turn, and I will tap four to cast a Yagmoth Thran Physician. So I will gain a life, everyone else will lose a life. Pass. Oh, untap, upkeep, draw a magic card. I will put Lord Windgrace to seven, discard this Cinder Glade, and draw two cards. So I will tap four, and I will play a Oracle Oof. Moldiah. Flip uh, it up, flip it. Oh, there's the mana. It's a stomping ground, so I will... You play four lands a turn? Stomping ground, yeah. It's a lotus oh. cover. I will then play a bayou, and I'll tap three, and I'll cast a Kodama's Reach. Uh, search for library for two basic land cards, reveal them, put one into mm -hmm. play, tap the other into my hand, and shuffle. I will put this mountain mm, on the battle tapped. I'll put the snow-covered forest into my hand. Put that there. We'll reveal the top card of my library, being an amulet uh, bigger. I don't really have a whole lot else, so... Carlos, I'm going to punch you for one with Azusa. <laughs> there you go. I'll just pass my turn. I will untap. We'll draw. Got the mana too, Jeff, so you gotta... I have, I have things I could do. You're right, yeah. I get it. Um, <clears throat> let's just go to combat first, though. Let's do what we did last time. I will go to attack with U3 at Lord Wintergrace. I will set it to five. Odds is one. Blocks from me. One. Two. Oh. Three. Blocks. Dang it. That's better, though. I'll take that. Four. And play out a chance encounter. I'm going to spend three of my treasures, and I'm going to fabricate. Going to go get that thumb. Yeah, that's exactly what I'm getting. <laughs> <laughs> so thumb will go in my hand. Um, with my remaining treasures, seven, I'll sacrifice those, and I will play a Nexus of Fate. Oh, wow. Uh-oh. I will go to my end step. I will go to my next turn and go to untap. I'll pay two and play the thumb. I'll go to combat. I would like to respond to the beginning of your combat. Yes, go to, yes, Faith. respond. I would like to pay one and four life to dismember your commander. I would like to fierce guardianship that. No! I will pay a life and I will sacrifice my goat fairy. Everyone will lose a life and I will put a Neguan Neguan counter on it and draw a card. I will pay a life and sacrifice my cutthroat and do it again. So everyone will lose a life and I will gain a life. And then I will pay a life and sacrifice Ayara and do it again. Fill your sacrifice. Yeah. And I appreciate it. 
Did you can't. You, oh, maybe you can see. I'm saluting no you right now, honey. <laughs> is this what we call jumping on the grenade? Is that what we're yeah. doing? I, was yeah. on the I believe so. <laughs> to protect everyone else in the room. <laughs> I mean, we got hurt a little bit, but it was worth it. Yeah. Play a buried ruin. Hey, two. And play a swift foot boots. And just set up for for the future right there. So, Carlos, it will be your turn now. <laughs> Untap. Draw a card. Attempt Wheel of Misfortune. Each player secretly chooses a number, zero or greater. Then all players reveal those numbers simultaneously and determine the highest and lowest numbers revealed this way. Wheel of Misfortune deals damage equal to the highest number to each player who chose that number. Each player who didn't choose the lowest number discards their hand, then draws seven cards. Cho and the count of three. One, two, three. Uh, Oblivion, you keep your hand and don't wheel. The rest of us wheel and as you take five. I'm going to play War Room. It's my land for turn. And unfortunately, didn't get any rocks like I was hoping. And I, I will show this Wheel of Fortune on top of my library. <laughs> oh my gosh. I'm actually okay with another one. I'll pass turn. Oh, beans on toast. I will untap, I'll upkeep, I will lose a life, I will make a goat. I You're will the goat. draw. I'm going to tap one. And I'm going to cast a reanimate, targeting the Dockside Extortionist in Pez's graveyard. And I'll lose two life. <laughs> so there's my Dockside Extortionist, and I have four Treasury Daniels. I will use four, five, six, seven, and I will cast a Shieldred Whispering one. Uh, she has Swamp Walk, and at the beginning of my upkeep, I return target creature card from my graveyard to the battlefield, and at the beginning of each opponent's upkeep, that player sacrifices a creature. I'll pay a life, I will sacrifice my goat, and I will put a Negwon Negwon counter on Azusa, and I will draw a card, and then I will pay a life, and sacrifice your... Uh, buggy, and put another neg one neg one counter on Azusa, and draw a card. Pass my turn. I will untap. I will upkeep. I will draw this Wheel of Fortune for turn. And I will reveal off the top of my library an overgrown team. I'll tap my Wastelands for an Amulet of Vigor. I will then play this Mana Crypt. Uh, I will have a Colorless Floating, and I'll tap my Besaju for a green. And I will play Lotus Cover. So now I will play this Overgrown Tomb from the top of my library. I'll play it taps. It'll untap due to Amulet of Vigor. And I will add a green to my mana pool due to Lotus Cover. Uh, I'll play this Ancient Tomb for turn. <laughs> add a red to my mana pool. I'll go down to just my red floating. I'll use my floating green to cast a crop rotation on my Besaju. I will get this Valk at the Molten Pinnacle, uh, and then it will enter untapped due to Amulet of Vigor. Yeah. Uh, it is not online just yet. I only have one, two, three... Yeah, I only have three mountains, so we're all fine for right now. But from <laughs> Valka entering the battlefield, I will add another green to my mana pool from Lotus Cover. I have a, spl a splendid reclamation on top of my library. I'll tap my Ancient Tomb for two colorless. I'll tap this Strip Mine and my Bayou. I'll play a World Shaper. Uh, I'll use the green that I made with Lotus Cobra, still having one red floating. And I'll cast a Warbly Tutor. I'll tap Valakut, Mountain, and Mountain to cast a Wheel of Fortune. Yeah, I had a real so, bad hand. It was. I had a great hand. It lands, was super dragons approaches, and a dragon mage. So, you, I, will, you will all see that I draw, dryad, uh, splendid reclamation, toxic deluge, renin seven, nurturing peat lands, torment of hailfire, and assassin's trophy. Uh, I'm discarding a jeweled lotus, a toxic deluge, a vamp tutor. Respond with the vamp tutor because you get to draw whatever you search for. <laughs> it's probably better to do that. I just wasn't planning on it because I assumed that I was not going to get another turn. <laughs> oh, then tap three and attempt to cast Dryad of the Elysian Griff. 
to play this nurturing peatland as a land for a turn. Uh, I'll get a black mana, so a black and red floating. Uh, so I have a Valakut trigger from the nurturing peatland. And I will shoot my world shaper. So my world shaper will die and I'll get all of my lands from my graveyards. What One, is that? Oh, oh, I have a response two. to that. I have a response oh, to okay, the trigger. Okay. <clears throat> I'll play two all Cyclonic Rift, the Dryad. So Dryad will go back to my hands. Mm -hmm. uh, I'll get this Beseju, Cinderglade, Snow Covered Forest. This is all I got. But I'll add three more mana to my mana pool. I'll just add it in Jund. So I'll have two black, two red, and one green. Put Lord Wind Grace to seven. I'm going to discard this Assassin's Trophy. Uh, I'm going to draw a card. So I will tap my Cinderglade and my Snow Covered Forest and use my five floating to cast Belladros Witherbloom. I'm going to risk it for the biscuit. I'm going to pay 10 life and untap all of my lands. I'll tap my two lands, being a nurturing peat land and a Beseju. I'll have a black and a green floating, uh, and I will be at two. And I will untap all of my lands. I'll tap my Pachuca Bog. Now I'll play Dryad of the Elysian Grove. Here it is. Uh, this mountain entering the battlefield. Uh, I will I will deal three damage to Carlos. I'm going to cast this Torment to Hailfire. There you oh, go. There we go. That's all that matters. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so I've tapped two black for the two, and it will be 10, 11, 12. You can tap the Ancient Tomb because of Beseju. Oh, because uh, of Dryad. Yes, yeah, so 13. Well, if I get rid of my whole hand, do I even live with my whole hand? I do live with my whole hand. Okay. So yeah, if I if I sacrifice these three things and discard my whole hand, that's 10. So I would you take, take nine. 9. You can save Shieldred, though, and take an extra 3. One card in hand or life. Wait, have you gone in combat? Oh, crap. How much combat do you have available? Uh, I can deal four. <laughs> All right. Discarding my whole hand. Whoa. I took six damage and uh, got rid of everything else, my hand and my board. So. I will send two at Jeff and two at Carlos. And I'll pass. All right. I will untap. Uh, in your upkeep, I will make a pest. I will think about my life choices and decisions. I was trying to hold on to a dragon's approach. Those three damage oh, to everybody. That makes sense. <laughs> uh, uh, uh. Yeah, I, I'm going to be done for my turn. You can try this. Here we this go. Rip a dragon's <laughs> approach. <laughs> oh, it's playable. I, I was surprised it would be playable. I got a five mana Scourge of Velkus. Whenever um, it or another dragon enters the battlefield in your control, it deals X damage to target creature or player. <laughs> so I'll do you one damage, uh, Pez. <laughs> And I'll pass the turn. And tap. If you're looking for dragons or cool things, I do have a Scourge of the Throne. I have a Dragon I'm Mage. I'm doing the same thing. I'm pulling my creatures out right now. Oh, it's from my graveyard. Oh, is it only your graveyard? Yeah. I will get Shieldred the Apocalypse. I have three pests. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> I will draw a card. I will gain two life. I will tap two... And I will cast a Blood Artist. <laughs> and then I will bonk Jeff for six and pass my turn. Also, I think Pestle well, Sir. Wait, 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 wait. Hold on. What? Dead. He's dead on his turn, doesn't yeah, yeah, matter. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's the, yeah. yeah, that's the move. And that's the thing is, not only is he dead on his. Well, I guess I don't have to sacrifice his creature, so I won't be dead on my turn, but I. You'll yeah. be dead on draw, right? Oh, yeah, I'll be dead on draw. There you go. Yeah, yeah. I'm dead on draw. Both yeah. of you are dead on draw. And then I'm yes. dead on the car combat. What? Well, Technically, I could not be dead on draw. I could be dead to my main crypt. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. So, yeah. I will untap upkeep. I will sacrifice one of my pests. So everyone will lose one, but I'll gain one? Well, no. It's targeted. Oh, yeah. it's target. Okay. You'll gain one from the pest dying. Well, yeah. yeah how does the I stack work? Life. So both triggers go on the stack. Yours go on first. So you'll die, and then you'll gain your life. It's well, it's, well, technically, I would just die. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I don't. Well, so I'm not this... having him lose the life, though. It will, you can. Yeah, I know, but he's gonna die on draw anyway. Because you're right. Well, rip those, right. babe. I untap. I upkeep. I draw. I die. 
I untap, I upkeep, I lose my dragon. I lose another life, I assume. Yep. Yeah. You and gain I a life. Life. I draw a card. I lose a life. It is a land. It is two life when you draw a card. Oh, two. Oh, wow. Yeah, that's... I'll play my commander. Just because. I was still behind this game. You're going to come in second, you know, right? <laughs> first, loser, or first loser. How was that? Yeah. Untap, upkeep... Return a creature card from my graveyard to the battlefield. I will get a braids. Uh, yeah, literally just attack, I die. I think there's nothing. I have no cards in hand. Nice. Childreds. You Childreds. do the work. Always Childreds. Spicy just... ladies. Oh. Yep. Because then I would attack you with both of them. Yep. Pew, 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 pew. That, was, that was good. I feel at least everyone seemed like they... Got to do silly something. The goose moment that happens was you were correct in the fact that I shouldn't have gotten Valakut because I was hoping to get Eternal Witness or something to get my escape shift back mm. from the graveyard. Mm. I should have went and got the ball coppers. Did you already oh have? Because then I would have had double. Because then I would have had fifteen extra black to put into my torment of <laughs> Yeah, I mean for me also just because shoulder was out there, I was like. The, the zombie land got you, you know, sacrifice fodder and you know, it had a bunch right. of zombies and things, but uh, um, unfortunately, Shieldred got the swamp block. Oh, I didn't, I, I always forget about that. Yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. 